I'd like to preface this video by telling you that I am a complete amateur when it comes to Linux and the command line interface. The first time I tried to restore the JET KVM to factory settings, I didn't find the official documentation very beginner friendly. And it took me a couple of days to acquire the information I needed to succeed. First we're going to go to the official JetKVM.com. We're going to go up here and click on the documentation link. We're going to scroll down on the left to factory reset. It says that we want to enter DFU mode before we start. But let's gather the tools while we're here. Alright, that's a website. Alright, this here is a link. We'll grab the image while we're here. Oh, there we go. We're going to put this in our downloads folder. Now let's click on the link for the tool. Okay, Linux environment. We want to go running in a Mac OS environment. All right, it says we have to download and extract the tool. Okay. We'll put that in our downloads folder too. Okay, download and extract upgrade tool. On a Mac, double clicking the downloaded file will extract it for us. Okay, we'll get this out of here just so it's not so confusing. I can get it back if I need it. There are four files in here. Alright, sudo ditto this command looks like it's a command to unzip the tool this might do something different than what we just did so I'm going to follow the instructions actually I think we need to be in the downloads folder Ooh, and I deleted it let's go back and put that back Okay, let's try this again. Okay, we're in the downloads. Let's uh, copy. Well, that didn't work for me. But the file is extracted. This says run this to flash the tool. And if we go back to the Jet KVM, it says to do this. And now that we have two sets of instructions, here is where I hope to save other newcomers a lot of headache and runarounds. All right, this one says you can point the tool to where the file lives. I tried that and it didn't work for me. What I had to do was move the tool into the folder. Okay. Now we have these commands. We have to be back into here. I think we have to be in the folder. Oh, here it says, run the program to flash the firmware. Please modify the path according to the image. Yeah, well, I tried that and it didn't work. So I put the uh, image into the folder. All right, so we'll copy this. The name of the, the, name of the file that we want to upload. Okay, so this failed. Command not found. All right. Fear not, we have options. Let's try this one over here. And as I edit this, I see another mistake I'm making that I didn't see until now. I need to be inside the folder where the tool is. Command not found. Then, after close to two days, 
I found this command on the Jet KBM Discord site. But first, I'm gonna rename this just so it's easier to do. I eat less bullshit to type to get back into the folder. This magic command makes our update tool file executable. Okay, so maybe that did something now. We didn't get any errors that time, so cross your fingers and let's try this again. Apple could not verify the update tool. Okay, you might run into this thing and you have to go to the settings, find the privacy, and go down here. Upgrade tool was blocked to protect your Mac. Allow anyway. All right, let's try that again. Open anyway. Oh, we forgot to put it in DFU mode. And how to get this into DFU mode, you have to find this little hole. And like some, I don't, this thing ain't lined up that great, and sometimes you don't hit it. Uh, but push it down. I felt it click. 1001, 1002, 1003. Alright, and it's dark. So that should be DFU mode. Now I'm going to change directory back into where the tool lives. Okay. Now we're going to try this again. I'm going to paste in the command. Now we're going to run this tool. Segmentation fault. I learned that a segmentation fault has to do with bad memory access. I tried a few things, but then eventually I just tried the command again. Let's see what happens. Oh, what's different? Okay, there we go. And even the second time, I had a hell of a time. Okay, it's coming back alive. No network. But we're fresh. If I had uh, this thing plugged into the network and all that stuff over in the other room, I could log into it and start all over. What I'm going to do now is reinstall Tailscale. Thanks for watching and smash that like button.